All right, what's going on guys? It's Nano Pack again with one more video and we've got the Galaxy Watch 4 today to unbox. I'm excited about this watch. I've been rocking the latest Apple Watch for a while and if you know me, you know that I try to make sure that I'm in the ecosystem. What does that mean? It means if I have an Android device like I have right here with my Galaxy Z Fold, that means I also want to have a nice smartwatch to go with it. I'm a huge fan of smartwatches. So what that means is I like to have a nice solid smartwatch with the device I'm using, right? And most of the time I'm gonna have an Apple Watch obviously for an iPhone and a Galaxy Watch obviously for a Galaxy phone. Now that doesn't exclude things like Fitbits and Huawei watches and other things of that nature, Pebbles back in the day. Point is, we've got ourselves the Galaxy Watch 4 and I wanna rock it with my Galaxy Z Fold 3. So let's go ahead and quickly unbox this, see what it looks like, and see what we're dealing with. Now, one thing I can tell you right off the cuff is this is a long box. So I'm used to actually having, there we go, a little zoom in for effect. Um, I'm used to actually having um, more small square boxes uh, but that's what Samsung gave us. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Boom. Boom. Let's start off with the literature. So that, open it, that, open that side. I don't think you need to open both sides. Let's actually zoom out a little bit. So it looks like we have our that's it. You can't be serious. This big old box to really give me this. Maybe there's some literature in there. Yeah, it looks like there's the quick smart guide on the opposite side of the box. And then you've got your, your charging cable. So you're going to have your puck, right? Where it charges sort of like apples. And then your actual USB-A on the other side. And that's that. So nothing fancy there. Let's move that off to the side. I went ahead and got the Galaxy Watch 4, as you guys saw at the start of the video. There it is. There it is. Silicone band, nothing fancy. This is the larger 44 millimeter watch. You could have gone classic. This is the cheaper one. I was debating between this and the dark green, but ultimately I decided to go black on black since the phone is also black again. Nothing on that side, power button, and the other button right there. As you guys can see, pause it if you have to. Looks clean. I mean, uh, what can I say, hardware-wise? Minimal bezels. I don't necessarily think that I need a bigger watch in terms of like aesthetics. I think the smaller watch would probably look better. Maybe, I'm not sure. I've tried a smaller watch before, but what I can tell you is I am a fan of battery life and that's the honest truth. So if a bigger watch means better battery, then that's what we're rocking. So there it is on the left wrist. Um, I can tell you that I'm not feeling the comfort right here on top of the bone that I wish I had. Um, I don't know if it's just the band, it kind of like tightens. And I don't know if I gotta loosen it or what. But right now, I'm a little annoyed by the, uh, by the comfort aspect of it. All right, so I'm not really gonna set this up right now, guys, because I don't need to do that in front of you. There's other watches and other videos to watch on that. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So Galaxy Watch 4, 44 millimeter, relatively thick. Uh, but I like the look. Simple, tried and true design. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Is this a smartwatch that you're getting? I mean, the ecosystem for smartwatches for smartphones in general is pretty large, 
pretty much dominated by the Apple Watch, obviously for iPhones, Galaxy Watches, obviously for anything else that's not iPhone. So that means Google Pixels, Galaxies, Sony devices, you name it. Samsung watches work very, very well with those devices, obviously better optimized for it. Samsung smartwatches, but then you've got your, you know, your Fitbits of the world, which I have rocked and I enjoy rocking. So let me know in the comment section below if you're getting a smartwatch, uh, a fitness track or some sort of thing like that. If you are, which one is it? If you aren't, why? Um, and yeah, we'll carry this on on the next video. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, please. Please, please. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Like always, it was Nando. Peace, salute, and adios. And don't forget to stay geeky. Bye.